Hi guys, it's Tiny Tay and I'm back today with some more shenanigans. In today's video, I will be going over my favorites and fails. So to jump right into it, I think we're just going to do fails and then faves because um, I only have two fails and one mid, so it just makes a little bit of sense to do it that way. So my mid for this month is Ye old Patagonia Better Sweater. Um, this, I've worn this less than five times. Like, if I'm being honest, I want to say I've worn it three times. This is literally just hanging up in my closet when it's not being worn. As I was wearing it this last time, I just realized how linty and, like, beady bead it is. Like, it's not... Yes, I know it's a fleece jacket, but, like, there's no reason that of the three times I've worn it, it's already filled with, like, these little lint balls. And I've literally not even worn it that much, and it just hangs in my closet. For the price, wearing something three times should not result in a jacket that looks like that. And that's so visibly beaded up that, like someone could come up to you and pick off a little bead. I wasn't even wearing it with my coat on top. Like, I was literally just wearing the jacket. And it's already filled with lint balls. I know that's absolutely first world problems, but again, for the price, that does seem a little absurd because I've had Columbia fleece jackets for literally a decade, and they are not even half as linty as this. And in middle school, you could very easily catch me wearing a Columbia fleece jacket every day. Like, I love them and I'm always, always cold. And I got this jacket because it is one of the warmer, lighter weight, thinner jackets that are out there. But, uh, can't say that I would get this one again. And it's also kind of annoying because I have two better sweater quarter zips that are not as linty as this. And I've worn them way more times. So that's our mid. Our first fail is the Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I enjoy taking steps forward in my health and as well as the environmental health, you know? So I'm like, okay, I could switch to a more environmentally friendly um, toothpaste. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Earth. I'm sorry to my fellow future generations. No! <laughs> this toothpaste tastes like you're brushing your teeth with water. It feels like water. I, I don't even have words to describe what I was going through when I was brushing my teeth with that. I, I legit was like, what is this? Like, the peppermint taste is not super strong to me. So it really just felt like you were using a cup of water with like a drop of mint flavoring in it and just like I will never buy it again I gave it to my mom she likes it she's gonna enjoy it it's not going to waste but no no I'm gonna stick to my toothpaste tablets those work a whole lot better and actually can get a, a lather I don't know if that's the appropriate word because lather is more on your hands but like an actual yeah, I guess lather in, in your mouth, like, that actually feels like you're brushing your teeth. Second, this is kind of controversial from a little girl like myself, but the second is going to be the oversized funnel neck half zip scuba. That's literally a mouthful, and how I continue to manage knowing all of the names of the different scubas is truly beyond me. But this scuba in particular just does not sit right with me. This is my only scuba that doesn't have a hood and I'm gonna be honest, I did not think there was a difference. I I literally was just like, a scuba's a scuba, doesn't matter half zip, quarter zip, full zip, whatever. I was just like, they're all the same. No. This one continually is like going back on my neck and if it's not it just feels so big and then every time I lift up my arms it's up. I have the Sherpa cropped scuba, there's so many, I'm gonna put the picture up here, um, that doesn't annoy me as much when I lift my arms 
So I, I literally don't know what it is about that one aside from the hood that annoys me so bad when I lift my arms. Because the Sherpa doesn't do it, but whenever I'm wearing the, that one in specific, I have a picture up here. It just doesn't sit right with me. I can't quite put my finger on it, but if you know anything about this, if you're a little professional, please comment below the truth about it. Because I genuinely did not think that the funnel neck was going to make me so much more uncomfortable. Or maybe is it the funnel neck that takes a few inches off of somewhere else in the shirt? I have no idea, but I don't like it. Next, for our second mid... This is controversial, I know, but it's going to be the Glossier Balm.com. I'm going to be honest, I let y'all hype this up, this $17 lip gloss. I let you hype it up and get in my head. I'm pretty sure I still had to pay shipping on this. Yeah, it's mid. I would not buy another one. You will never, ever catch me using another one outside of this. The color on this is non-existent for people who have melanin in their lips already. And the formula is quite mid like it's just mid and that really made me pull the trigger on it was that someone said that it compared to lanolin and I usually use pure lanolin on my lips already and I have for a long time so I was like oh okay then totally whatever I can see why it'll be $17 and I can see why it would be so exclusive that they have it was this flavor and a cookie or is this cookie butter flavor and then like a hot cocoa flavor Swiss Miss flavor um, I'm like, okay, I can see why people are liking it then. And I don't say that to say that this doesn't have lanolin in it. I honestly don't know, but it doesn't have enough if it does. And a lot of people also said that the original formula was better than the new formula. This came back rebranded as the original formula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on and so on. Cult favorite this, cult favorite that. It's buns. You guys can say what you want to say. You can say it's the best lip gloss. A lot of people said this was the best lip gloss they ever had. I encourage you to go out and try other lip glosses and other brands because this literally has nothing to offer. Like, I reapplied this more than, like, lip smackers. Like, it doesn't actually penetrate the lips and stay on. It just sits on top. And if I didn't already have lip gloss on right now, I'd show you guys, but this is, eh. The one thing that I can say that I like about it, the marketing is definitely good. That also got me. And it does smell good, but there are so many better drugstore lip chaps than this. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it, but... To go into my favorites, one of my favorite actually lanolin-based products... Um, that I could only find an Ulta before, but it was actually in Target this year, so I think Target's gonna start selling it, which is awesome, because it means I could get, well, I mean, I get my Ulta points at Target or whatever, but I can get my Ulta points and my 1% at Target, um, and get a shift right to my doorstep. I haven't ever bought from their real site. I'm pretty sure they're Australia-based, um, or somewhere in that area-based, but this is 100% worth it. It is close to that same $17 price point. This is an all-around balm or salve um, that you can use everywhere, though. This is also 100% natural. Not that it matters um, specifically to the lip gloss girlies. But if you're going to get something that's thick and nice, it might as well be natural, especially if you're going to say pay the same price for it. They have a bunch. They have a strawberry one that smells so good. They have a red tinted one. Um, they have lemon. They have watermelon. They have a bunch. One of my all-time favorite things about this one is the applicator. Look at that nice round um, opening in the applicator there. I've had this one for a while so it's definitely getting a little thinned out but this is so worth it. The Lanolin on this keeps your lips moisturized all day. It actually penetrates the skin, not just on your lips, but also your hands. I've used it on my hands in a pinch because I hate when my hands are dry, but I wash my hands a lot. This is the minty flavor or scent. It is one of my favorites, but this is 100% worth it, and that's why it's on my favorites for December because December is a really dry month, and I got to keep my lips nice and moisturized. The next lippy that's on our lip is not just this one, but in general, this brand, Lid Lip Bar. I have matte and liquid um, lips from them as well as a lip liner. I love, love, love this brand. It is black owned, but it's technically drugstore makeup. Um, you get it at Target. 
very reasonably priced with other um, makeup brands but the, the formula the quality um i wore this during my vlogmas exam week if you guys watched if not i'll insert a quick clip or a picture of what i look like when i'm wearing it but like this is literally like so juicy a little goes such a long way again i already am wearing lip gloss but when i say this is that girl it's so pigmented one of my favorite lip combinations is to mix their vixen color with rihanna fenty gloss bomb and it makes a beautiful lip combination um but this is one of my favorite favorite brands it is upcoming it started at target well it started you know on their own platform went to target now going to walmart this is a good contender for lippies um, of 2024 if you are a lipstick girl this is for you please give them a try and this is not sponsored none of these things are sponsored I'm just telling you guys what I really enjoy just want to clarify that really quick next things next muscle gun if you don't have one of these yet you're missing out after a long day at clinical or even at school this is an absolute game changer as you can see Mine is minty green. It matches my aesthetic. Um, it comes with a bunch of different heads that you clip on and off. But mine has so many levels. And just... Uh, guys, it's literally so nice. Like, I can't even begin to just explain uh, how nice it is. Just get one, please. They have a bunch at TJ Maxx. They have some really good ones at at Walmart actually um, and then of course they have like the super high-tech ones for those people who are athletes and work out very consistently um, but this is it's so nice after a long day that's literally all I can say it gets so deep into the muscle and as you can see it has so many levels and I can honestly say it's been a number one contender in my health and wellness of 2023 because I get horrible calf cramps charlie horses um after a whole freaking 6 a.m to 2 shift just running around like crazy um especially because clinical days can be so unpredictable compression socks can only do so much next on my faves list is going to be my Vera Bradley duffel, which I actually don't have. Um, it is at my parents' house right now, but I'm going to insert a picture of mine. I love it. I have been using this to go on so many trips this year. Like, it has so many nooks and crannies, and it can be packed to the absolute brink. And still, honestly, not even be that heavy. Like, I mean, yeah, obviously it's going to be heavy because it's filled with stuff, but what I'm really trying to say is that you can pack a large amount of stuff in there as long as you fold effectively um, and really be like set to go. You don't have to bring anything else with you. And it is carry on sized. I have carried it on um, to planes before. The only reason I stopped was because it's a fabric and airports and planes are super, super dirty. So I decided to take my suitcase instead because I really want to protect this Beer Bradley duffel. Um, the print that I have is one of my favorite, favorite prints and I take good care of it and I wash it and want to keep like being able to use it. So that's why I don't take it into the airport anymore. But it is super, super useful for day trips, staycations, um, when I go on the train I still take it, even just like a quick trip up to Duluth when we went to West Virginia I took it, like it just comes in handy and for the price point, especially for duffels these days, it's really not bad at all. And it's Vera Bradley which is coming back according to TikTok even though I never let Vera Bradley die, I never will, I've always been a Vera Bradley girl since literally like the 4th grade. Um, but TikTok is saying it's coming back so better get you one of these. Next I have claw clips. I know this is very weird to have on your faves and fails but when I say I never ever used these before but they just come in so much handy now I find myself reaching for them more than hair ties because they're just so effective like you know over time your hair tie gets loose it slips like no I attach this to my scalp my brain cells actually um and it stays on all day which is super nice obviously this is not my only claw clip and this one is a little intricate but they're all very useful and have been coming in quite the handy lately and maybe I just didn't appreciate them before but I do now Next favorite is Billie Eilish number three. I have mentioned her number one fragrance in my faves and fails before. 
But this one, oh, it's so sweet and cherry. This is what I thought Tom Ford Lost Cherry was going to smell like. And one thing about Miss Billy is that her fragrances last. If I accidentally spray her fragrance on my skin, like instead of just my clothes, and of course I can still smell it on my clothes, but if I spray it on my skin, I swear I can smell it for like two days after I've showered. Like it's so, so strong. Her longevity of her perfumes is insane. I have no idea what she's putting in them, but... For the price, she can absolutely continue to make perfumes and I will continue to buy them. So this is a Christmas present from Billy's website herself. I was not waiting for Ulta to get this. I knew I was going to love it. The second I read the notes, I was like, oh yeah, this is for me. Um, I'm a cherry girl to my core. I do love Tom Ford Lost Cherry as well. But for me, Billy really hit it on the head a little bit more than he did. And I also think hers just reminds me of like a potpourri that my mom used to have in the house. It's just a really nice, calming scent. And this could be a summer or fall scent in my opinion. So if you haven't smelled it, do it. And that is all for my faves and fails. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment and tell me that below. Tell me your other thoughts and opinions. Have you tried any of these products? What do you think? Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye!